Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your April 2021 tarot reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the month of April 2021. What do we have for Pisces please? Angels, spirits, guides, seems to want to come out. We have... The Page of Cups. Message for Pisces, please. Angels, Spirits, Guides. Message for our lovely Pisces. Thank you. April 2021. Okay, so we have If You Believe and we have Reconsider. Something to reconsider, take another look at maybe. Okay, let's pop those cards there, Pisces. So I'm going to pull four cards. Roughly works out as one card per week, though divine timing and all that, the energies may well overlap. And then we'll clarify, go deeper into the message, as you know by now we always do. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you, Pisces. Okay, message for Pisces, please. Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Pisces. Thank you. Message for Pisces. We have Four of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, Pisces. And we have Four of Swords. Let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Pisces. Thank you message for Pisces okay three cards there Pisces I've got the four of cups again but we've also got the ace of pentacles and the nine of wands okay and then we have the knight of pentacles seven of cups clarifying that we have the three of pentacles clarified with the eight of pentacles and the Four of Swords we have clarified with the Hierophant. Bottom of the deck, Pisces, we have the Knight of Swords. So, Pisces, there is something here to reconsider take another look at it's interesting with the four of cups appearing twice this is about giving some deep thought to a situation it's also a card of the divine nudge the four of cups and you're being nudged in the specific direction of the cup that the divine energy holds you know the divine hand that cup the fourth cup it feels that you're being led in a specific direction here. There is some kind of opportunity or something that your intuition is telling you to act on now. The message is doing what you're... I mean, the Page of Cups can be intuitive messages. Your intuition is leading you in a specific direction and the message is listen to your intuition because it's leading you in the right direction. This can link to creative opportunities. This can link to love. The Page of Cups is generally when things start looking up. It's the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. But there is something coming in here where you're being told to really reconsider something, maybe reconsidering your options or reconsider something that's coming your way. Um, because there is the possibility we have, if you believe, we have the symbol of creation here, which is very much like Archangel Metatron's symbol of creation, creating something new by your own hands, power, belief. It definitely feels for some of you something new can be created. This feeling of reconsider here. Uh, 
And it's almost kind of like you're being told to look at something deeply because you're being led in a specific direction here. There are four cups and yet there's only one cup that is leading you in a specific direction here, trusting your intuition on how you need to move forward. Because for some of you, something is nearly over. You've come so far and this is the divine nudge saying, just keep going, just pull your energy in this direction because something is nearly over. The period of challenge or struggle or being tested, it definitely feels like something is coming to an end. There may well be one more obstacle to go here with this, with this Four of Cups and Nine of Wands, one more obstacle to go and then you're done. So there's definitely an energy of, it's almost kind of like you're just being nudged because this, this cup is waiting for you. And I definitely feel, you know, it definitely feels one more thing to go and then we get the Ace of Pentacles. This is the golden opportunity, this is the gift from the universe. This is an energy of financial career opportunities. This can also be linked with moving, relocating as well. So if you've been, if you've been thinking about moving and relocating, this can be. Um, just keep going, keep persevering, you know, you're nearly there. If you've been thinking about changing jobs that may real well require moving or relocating, this can be the energy. It can also be just financial career opportunities. It definitely feels for some of you, there's, it's almost like there's one more thing to go and, and need to take action and then this is within your grasp. And that's what you're being told. Because then we have this Ace of Pentacles transpiring in an offer, which is the Knight of Pentacles. So it's almost kind of like something more to go the first week and then, you know, bam, something very much connected to your hopes, dreams and wishes that may well require you to make some kind of choice or decision is coming into your world. The Knight of Pentacles, you know, in terms of house moves or moving, relocating, this can be somebody giving you an offer or making you an offer. Um, similarly, this can be somebody actually making you an offer in terms of money, career, finances. It can also be, you know, some kind of offer that is required, that is, is following your hopes, dreams and wishes in the sense that you might be changing career or changing industries in some way. So that might resonate for some of you as well, because this can be a manifestation energy as well, manifesting that new path. Um, so very good in terms of money career, very much, very good in terms of moving, relocating here, Pisces. And again, with the three of, of pentacles, again, this can be about house moves, doing up a new home. But it's also the beginnings of success and recognition in terms of money career finances. Somebody doing what they do, the beginnings of success, manifesting the beginnings of success. Now, this can be in terms of business partnerships, teamwork, collaboration projects can also be in a company, for example, the beginnings of real financial material success and just doing what you do and doing it very well, bringing positive change and being recognized and paid accordingly for the work that you do. So it feels very beautiful here by the third week. Very lovely energy. We have the energy of Taurus here. And we have it combined with the Four of Swords. Four of Swords can be a card of recovery, Pisces. It can be a card of recovery. And it feels, it can also be a card of contemplating, thinking about something again. But it, it definitely feels with the Hierophant. Um, the Hierophant is a card of trust, having faith, um, you're being guided, you're being watched over. The Hierophant is the physical representation of God, the divine, the universe. So it feels for some of you, you're guided towards some sense of recovery here things are going to look up. I mean, that's what that page of cups is all about. It is a looking up energy, whether it's to do with relationships, whether it's to do with health, whether it's to do with money career, whether it's to do with 
offers on your home. I mean, this page of cups is very much things are looking up. Uh, it's a feel good energy, the page of cups. And, you know, this Knight of Swords I see as real progress, just making progress headway. The Hierophant is also, I will say, a card of Taurus, which is very good in terms of money career and also stability and security. So I'm definitely getting this energy of you hold the keys to your own success. You see those keys, the cross keys. I'm definitely getting this energy of you hold these keys to your own success, your own stability and security. There's almost kind of like one more thing to go here that I'm getting Pisces and then the change is happening. We're getting progress. There may well be something to reconsider, reconsider something you're looking at or reconsider something, an opportunity maybe. You know, these cards can also be about maybe holding back because the Nine of Wands isn't a 10, it's one less than the Nine of Wands. So it can be about doubt, fear, holding back. The Four of Wands, sorry, the Four of Cups can also be about the offer is there, the opportunity is there, but this person has no intention of moving, you know? So it can sometimes be about, it's not the time to, to, to hold back, keep going, persevere, because this opportunity is coming your way and it manifests very quickly, um, second week. So I'm definitely getting this energy Pisces, a new level of success, creating something new. It feels for some of you, if you're, if you're holding back or giving up or um, not taking action for whatever reason, the message is take action that first week, persevere, keep going. Because for some of you, this is an, a really beautiful thing happening. Uh, a new beginning, new door opening, the door finally opens. And it's um, definitely getting this new stabilizing energy, progress, stability, security. So it feels really beautiful. Okay, let's um, pull you one more card. Any other advice for Pisces, please? Any other advice for Pisces, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you see, Seven of Cups, the Two of, two of Pentacles, it, it can be a card of, you feel overwhelmed, there can be a level of exhaustion, there's a lot on your plate, there's a lot to do, and yet this is somebody who juggles and dances at the same time, saying that you're not thinking, you know, you know, you are absolutely dealing with this situation. You have the practical, physical capability of dealing with what's on your plate right now um, and adjusting and adapting and um, prioritizing to deal with this, something that feels a little bit overwhelming. And it is towards new hopes, new dreams, new wishes. And I think these new hopes, new dreams, new wishes are manifesting in the form of one cup, one of these cups coming your way, something looking up. So it feels very, very beautiful indeed. Very beautiful indeed. Something about reconsider or relook at something in a different way, Pisces. But there is a level of some kind of new beginning, exciting opportunity. Um, coming your way that is bringing a level of security and stability your way. The Eight of Pentacles can sometimes be about retraining and that's why I was thinking some of you might be ch doing a career change or giving something a different go, you know. I'm definitely getting some kind of maybe career change for some of you. It won't be for everybody. Again, that night can just be an offer or an invitation but I'm definitely getting this Eight of, of Pentacles can be the apprentice or education, learning something new, getting a new qualification, you know, to manifest this success. So that might resonate for some of you as well. Okay, what do we have for Pisces, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Pisces. Thank you. 
message for our lovely Pisces. Thank you. Yeah, I like this. You're being protected. We have Panther protection. Consider who you allow to take your energy and who you give it away to freely. Interesting. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Pisces. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.